What's up, Oasis Kids? My name is Miss Kin. No matter where you are right now, thanks for joining us for Kids Church. We are in a new series learning about some big names from the Bible. But first, let's kick it off by hearing from Olivia. What's up, friends? Olivia here, and it's time for... Question number one, the word Lego originated from the creator putting these two Dutch words together. Leg, got. What do they mean? Play well? That's the right answer. Question number two, during the Christmas season, how many Lego sets are sold every second? It's 28 per second. What? Speaking of Legos, let's put together this set together. Hmm, nah. Ah, uh, wait. I have to do all three? <sighs> Back to the drawing board. <laughs> sure, there's the picture on the box, but we really can't understand what the Lego set will look like until we build it. That's why we have our instruction manual to help us get that picture step by step. We also can't always see where God is leading us, but he gives us step-by-step -step instructions to live the life that he wants us to live. The Bible speaks to this very topic we're talking about in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. But Master Olivia, how can we hear God's voice? Great question. You can listen for God's voice to help you make a decision three different ways. Read your B-I-B-L-E, the Bible. Praying and asking God for wisdom to help you make decisions. You can talk to people who are older than you, who follow Jesus, who have been through sin similar experiences as you have, and within that conversation, ask them for help. You can trust God and know that when you ask for wisdom, he will give it. That's it for today, friends. It was fun building Legos and learning about God with you. I'll see you next time. Bye. What an awesome video. Have you ever wondered what God's will is? Well, God's will is the good things God wants and has planned and he has good plans for us. He's able to show us the right path because he's with us. But what do you do when things just don't seem good and it seems like bad things are happening? Well, I remember that God is good and I believe that God is with me. You know, that reminds me of Joseph from the Bible. There's a lot that seemed to go really bad for Joseph, but God took all those bad things and, well, I think it's best that we watch the story from the Bible and find out together. Let's see the story about Joseph and how God turned Joseph's situation for good. Ready? Let's watch. Stories of the Bible. Joseph forgives. This is Joseph. Hey! Who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. But he had 11 brothers who hated him ah. and sold him into slavery. Yeep. After being put in jail, Joseph told of the future of Egypt when he interpreted Pharaoh's dreams, and Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh made Joseph a leader in his kingdom. Just as Joseph had told the Pharaoh, Egypt had seven years of abundance. Then the seven years of abundance came to an end, and the seven years of famine began, hmm. just as Joseph had said. But the Egyptians had food to eat because Joseph had planned for the famine. There was famine in all the other lands, and many came to Joseph to buy food. There was even a famine in the land that Joseph came from. So when Israel heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent his sons to buy some. Yeah. But Israel did not send Benjamin with the others. Aww because he was afraid that harm might come to him. When Joseph's brothers came to him, Joseph recognized them, <laughs> but he pretended to be a stranger. Aha. So Joseph decided to test his brothers. <clears throat> he had his interpreter tell them to send for Benjamin, who had stayed home. Him. And then he threw his brothers in jail for three days. Aww. 
On the third day, Joseph let all but one of the brothers take grain to their starving households with the instruction to bring Benjamin back. But Joseph provided for his brother's journey and gave them grain and silver. The brothers did exactly as Joseph instructed, as they were scared that God was punishing them for what they had done to Joseph so many years before. They traveled home to their father's house, Yippee! then back to Egypt. Now that he had seen that they brought Benjamin, Joseph was overwhelmed, so he released the brother who was still in prison. But Joseph decided to play one more trick on his brothers. He sent the brothers away, but told his servant to hide his silver cup in Benjamin's bag. Then Joseph told the servant to go after the brothers and retrieve the cup. The brothers hadn't traveled far before the servant stopped them and accused them of stealing the cup. Aww. Aww. Joseph could no longer control himself before his attendants. He made them leave so he could be alone with his brothers, and he told his brothers who he really was. Ta-da! He told them of his life and all he had experienced, and he forgave them for what they had done. God was with Joseph and took care of him and showed him favor. Um, wow. Joseph went through a lot, but even though bad things seemed to keep happening to Joseph, he always believed God was with him. God was with Joseph, giving him courage and wisdom in the hard times. And things always worked out so that Joseph could be in a position to save an entire nation. Hmm, but what does that mean for us? Well, good news is I have the next episode of Jerry Reviews, and he's talking about Legos. I have it all set for us to watch. I really do like Legos, and I just know Jay will have some more to say about what it looks like to believe God is with us. You ready? Let's watch. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Jerry Reviews. I'm Jerry, and I'll be doing the reviewing. This time around, I'm focusing on one of my all-time favorite toys, Lego. I've assembled a team of master builders to help me assemble these Lego sets. Together, we'll build a new set each week and give you the lowdown on how good I think it is. Sound good? Great, let's get going. Welcome back to Jerry Reviews. Over the last few weeks, I've been reviewing Lego sets and I have one more to talk about today. Over the years, Lego has worked with a bunch of other companies to create builds for all kinds of interests. There are Space Lego, Sports Lego, Superhero Lego, but I don't think there has ever been a more successful pairing of two icons than Lego and Star Wars, which is of course what we're going to talk about today. This set is the Luke Skywalker X-Wing from the Lego Star Wars series. There's 474 pieces in this set. I'm so excited! Just from the box art alone. I know this is gonna be a classic. It even comes with a couple extra figurines in addition to Luke and R2-D2 so you have more to play with. Guys, this thing looks awesome. I could talk about Star Wars and Lego all day, but that wouldn't be very fun. Let's throw it over to the master builders in the Lego assembly room, the LAR, and get to work. Thanks, Jerry. Welcome to the Lego assembly room. Here's a Lego master builder fun fact. Did you know that the most epic LEGO set ever built was the X-Wing Starfighter? It had over 5 million pieces, but the one today, we have 500. Should be easy. Let's build! Red 5 coming in for landing. Oh, okay. 
I know I was pretty positive about last week's NASA LEGO set, but for sentimental reasons, I think this is one of my favorite in the entire series. Star Wars is so great because it shows us worlds that we have never seen before, and LEGO are all about creativity and imagination. Putting these two together lets you connect with the imagination of Star Wars while bringing your own creativity into the mix. So let's talk about the score. First things first, appearance, five out of five. That's easy. The X-Wing design is iconic and it's been really lovingly recreated here with Lego pieces. It's a really good size too. You can even close the wings and open them up just like this. Oh, so awesome. I think this is probably a two out of five for difficulty, but there are some small pieces but it's a pretty simple setup and the instruction manual is easy to follow. For overall score though, I have to give it a five out of five. No matter what age you are, this is a must have Lego set. If I had one complaint, it's that it didn't include notable characters like Obi-Wan or Yoda. We got Luke, R2, we got Leia and General Dodonna. It's nice to have a few, but come on, you want the classics. That's one of my favorite parts about Star Wars, the fact that Luke is never alone in his journey, even when he's separated from his friends in The Empire Strikes Back. After Obi-Wan's death, his spirit still visits Luke, offering him wisdom. It reminds me of how God is always with us, no matter what we're going through. Last week, we talked about how God gave a son to Abraham and Sarah in their old age. That son's name was Isaac, and Isaac's son Jacob ended up having 12 sons of his own. Of all the sons, his favorite was Joseph. Jacob made no secret of his favoritism, which made the other sons jealous of their brother. This led to all kinds of problems for Joseph. He was thrown in a pit, sold as a slave to strangers from a faraway land, and even thrown into jail. But God didn't abandon Joseph when he was sold into slavery, and he didn't abandon Joseph when he was imprisoned. Instead, God worked through all the things in Joseph's life, good and bad, to bring about his plan. Eventually, Joseph was freed from jail and placed in a position of great power. With that power, Joseph was ultimately able to save his family and the whole nation from a terrible famine that had come across the land. This brought healing and forgiveness to Joseph's family in a way that no one could have expected. While most of our lives are less eventful than Joseph's, we can still trust that God will be with us through it all. It's easy to trust God when things are going good, but in our low moments, when we don't know where to go or what to do, it isn't as easy. Joseph likely had times of doubt, but he ultimately chose to trust God through the good and the bad. No matter what is happening in our life, we can always go to God in prayer. We can share our fears, our frustrations, and hurts with God in these moments. God is glad when we take those things to him because it shows that we believe in him. So if you're ever feeling alone or confused, remember that God is with you. That's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching. This series has been a lot of fun. I'm sure I'll be back soon enough with more toys and pop culture to review. But until then, I hope you have a great weekend. See you guys around. Star Wars is the best. And I'm so pumped that Jerry gave it a five out of five. But even more amazing is the reality that the God that we read about who is with Joseph is the same God we can believe in who is with us too. Now, I want everybody to look at the screen for the big idea for today. Repeat after me. <clears throat> I believe God is with me. That's right guys, God is with us. Let's say it one more time. I believe God is with me. Just remember that God is with you throughout your week. Thanks for letting me hang out with you guys. I'm gonna pass it over to Max to close this out. Have a great week. What's up everyone, Max here. Joseph knew that God was with him, even during the kind of tricky parts of his life. And remember, we believe that no matter what is going on in our lives, God is with us too. No matter what's happening, you can always talk to him and tell him how you're feeling. Let's take a second and talk to him right now. Dear God, you really do love us and you want what is absolutely best for each one of us in our lives. Help us to remember that no matter what is going on, you are with us. Help us to believe that you will never leave us that you will always work everything out for the best. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, I am so glad that you stopped by today, and I had so much fun learning about God through people in the Bible like Joseph. We've got some discussion questions just to help us continue reflecting on everything that we learned today. Remember, 
God loves you so much. We love you so much, and we can't wait to see you soon.